thank you for coming. I thought this was most important. So let's just jump right into this. Why are you angry with the US? Well, back in World War II, I asked for reinforcements from America, and they did never arrive. I was most outraged by this. You left my men disabandoned and stranded. Let me be real with you. America doesn't like the fact that you're a communist country. What's so wrong with being communist? What's wrong with communism? It throws the economy out of whack. You leave the poor with money as equal as those that are rich. It's like a Robin Hood kind of thing, but you wouldn't know who that is. Who's this Robin Hood you speak of? I'm you know not what? sure who you're talking about. You know what? You're angry with the US, but we aren't pleased with you either, Joseph. What? What did I ever do? Don't think I went to found out about Ethel and Julius Rosenberg. Who are these people? I have no idea who you're talking about. You know you tried to steal the plans for the A-bomb, and you did. After we dropped those two atomic bombs in Japan, you saw their potential. You saw that we saved millions of lives by taking less than 100,000. I think this conversation is over. I think so too. Good day. Good day, mate. Johnson, what did the government say about your power level? It's over 9,000! Over 9,000! Over those are my thoughts exactly. I also like how they are staying loyal to us and to NATO. That's another thing I wanted to address. That the uh, NATO stuff right there. It gives me a sense of security. It is uh, something that helped me sleep at night, okay? Even though NATO is 28 countries strong, and we all have each other's backs, it's a huge threat to other nations. What are you trying to get hit? I'm trying to say that eastern part of Europe has started their own type of defense. They're threatened by NATO, so they made their own version called the Warsaw Pact. Are we uh, worried about this? Not in the least bit. They don't have the numbers for it. Plus, we have countries like Turkey and Greece at our side. 
aren't they uh, with us because of the, the Truman Doctrine? That's correct. The economical aid we gave them left them loyal. And they are really wonderful allies. That's uh, very reassuring to me, okay? I must get going now. Take care and see you soon. You take care as well. See you soon. Let's divide Germany. Okay. We will do it after the war. Yay! It seems like we've lost touch, my friend. I would have to agree with you there. So what are we going to do with the Nazi war criminals? I think it's about time we tried them. I'll have to agree with you. That's good. Now, I think we should just have fair trials for each and every one, and then just call it good. Yes, I have to agree with you on that too. I have to go now. I have important business to take care of. Okay. See you soon, my friend. See you too. Today we have Alger Hiss on our show. Welcome to our show. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Yes, today we're going to talk about the diversity in our uh, s the government systems. Uh, we're going to talk about communism in your Russian country. Yeah, what would you like to know about communism? Um, some of the ideas of communism, uh, how your economy works, government like that, you know? Well, uh, I will talk about idea and economy. So, I will put this in story for you. Say I have a two female cow. We take two female cow from a farmer and we milk both cow and we give milk equal share to everybody in Russia. And that is how we split our money. Well, how was that different from our system? You Americans, you have a system. You take a two female cow from farmer, right? You take two female cow and you trade two female cow for male cow. So you have one female, one male cow. And you uh, let the cow get nice and cozy and get naughty naughty and you have a cow baby and the cows reproduce and then eventually you have lots of cow and then you milk cow and you sell for profit so people who have lot of cow make a lot of money and people who have little cow make little money oh I see well thank you for clarifying your uh, your system that your your country uses. Um, I am happy to help. Yes, thank you. I have come to discuss a little misunderstanding we are having, Mr. Kennedy. A misunderstanding. You have missiles pointing in America. I don't see how that's a misunderstanding. You do not understand my position. You see, you try to invade my country, but I see it coming. This doesn't give you any right to point missiles at America. America is a powerful country. I just don't like to be intimidated. I see the missiles as insurance from America, just in case you decide to attack again. But as of now, I have nothing more to say to you, Kennedy. Good day. Even though it was called the Cold War, no missiles were ever fired. It was a battle over ideas, technology, and world power.